This video is on how to secure your Facebook profile. First, you go to your internet browser and you would open up Facebook. Um, obviously, I'm already logged in to secure this um, password and email. Um, this is not my Facebook profile, but it is uh, a Facebook profile that I did make for this video. Um, this is what your timeline view looks like to you. Um, there's a new window for friends. Um, obviously this is new where they actually add in the names of your individual friends. Um, as you go down you get um, you can click on dates to um, fast forward to if you will. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to find posts that you made a while ago. This photo right here is called your cover photo. Uh, these photos are public and you can't change that unless you delete it. So be careful what you put there if you don't want people to see it. The first thing you need to do to secure your Facebook profile is to click on that little um, down arrow. Click on privacy settings. And you need to check to see how your default privacy is. Most likely your profile will be set to public um, and when you do that everything you post, every photo you post, everything you say on Facebook is public and anyone can see it even though they're not your friend. Um, so I recommend that you set it to friends um, and if you were posting before you change this you should go down to limit audience, audience for past posts click on manage um, click on limit old posts and what that does is it sets everything that you've posted before you change your privacy settings uh, to only viewable by your friends another thing you can do is how you connect you click on edit settings um, if you don't want people to look you up on Facebook you would click friends which means only a friend can look you up on Facebook if you don't want people to send you friend requests that you really don't know the only other option besides everyone is friends of friends which means that let's say you are friends with Billy Bob and Billy Bob's friend can't add you on Facebook um, Facebook messages uh, if you don't want to have Facebook messages from everyone you can turn it on, turn it off, turn it to friends of friends uh, whichever way you think is safe I recommend having it only for friends um, I myself have my Facebook limited to friends for anyone that wants to search for me on Facebook and friends request I have it set to friends of friends also click done to submit those changes um, timeline and tagging uh, this is another thing um, most of the time people can tag you in a photo without you even knowing about it. Uh, let's say someone posted a pornographic image on their Facebook and tagged you in it. That image would show up on your timeline and it will look like you actually put it up there. So to avoid that, you would um, turn on review, timeline review, which actually um, requires you to accept a tag before someone can actually tag you in a picture. Um, also review tag friends to your post like if they make a Facebook post and tag your friend I'm sorry tag you in, your, in that post um, they need to review it click enable to do that um, if you don't want people to post on your wall click no one uh, if you leave it at friends only friends can post on your wall uh, if you want people to see what other people post on your wall, you can set it to where you need it. I recommend having it on friends. Only me, for some reason, they have this stupid <coughs> option to have only something that you can see. Which I don't think if you put something on Facebook, it was intended for just your own, your eyes only. So, just set it to friends and anyone that's your friend can see what's on your profile. Uh, just uh, who can see posts you've been tagged in on your timeline I recommend leaving it at friends and then just click done to submit 
Um, down here is where you actually type in names to block people. Let's like say I wanted to block uh, Tom Anderson from MySpace. You just type in their name, press block, and a list will pop up of all the Tom Andersons on Facebook eventually. And you just find whoever it was and you just push block. And then push close. And then that person is blocked. And whenever you want to unblock that person, you just push unblock. Uh, if you want to block app invites, you type in the name of a friend that keeps sending you app invites. Same thing with events and same thing with apps. Uh, click this to go back to privacy. And for right now, your Facebook is secure. To see what your Facebook looks like to the public, click on Facebook, go to your profile, click this gear thingy over here, and push view as. And this is what your Facebook looks to other people that are not your friend. Now, let's see, this is all you can see. Let's say you wanted to make sure that none of this stuff shows up. You go back to your timeline. Uh, you go to update info. And everything that you have on your profile can be shown or locked. Uh, let's say you wanted to lock your basic info, like your birthday. Just click on that arrow, push only me, and only you could see it. Or you could push friends, and only your friends could see that. I am going to set it as friends. Let's say you wanted to hide your sexual orientation. Um, set it to only me or set it to friends. I recommend setting it, setting it to friends unless you have a mixed audience of um, friends and family. Your relationship status. Uh, if you don't want anyone to see that, just push only me. If you just want your friends to see it, just push friends. Um, and it's the same thing with everything else. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that only my friends can see anything about me. So that means nothing is public. Just push save. And it goes back. Contact info. Uh, emails, phone numbers, addresses. Um, they are all already locked to where they need to be. And if they aren't, just go ahead and change it. Favorite quotations, if you want to log that, go ahead. Uh, relationships and family, already locked. If you don't want your location to show up, just lock that also. Uh, school, work, everything else, if you don't want anyone to see it, just lock it. So, let's go back to our profile. Go back to the gear and look at and see when you aren't a friend of Justin. Uh, so that is all on how to um, keep your Facebook private. Um, another thing is when you're posting on Facebook, let's say I really hate this timeline feature. Uh, you have the option of making that post, that individual post public. You have the option of making it friends only, or only me, or this option where you can customize it. Where let's say I wanna hide, uh, I wanna hide this post from myself, which my name is Time Year. I would hide it from me, and then I am the only one that cannot, only one of Justin's friends that cannot see that individual post. And no one can actually see who you hid it from, so don't be worried. Um, another option is to hide it from a list or to show it to only a list. And if I did that, only my close friends, people that were in the close friends list, will see that status. Or if I wanted to uh, send it out to all my Los Angeles friends, only my Los Angeles area friends would see that. Um, for lists. Let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, 
We go to see all lists. Go to Facebook. <clears throat> on more and create a list. Um, just go ahead and name the list. Let's name it family. And let's say I'll add myself to that. Let's create. Well, there's already one there, so I'll just go ahead and use that. To add someone to the list, you go to manage list and edit list, and you just search for the person you need you want to put there. Make sure you go to friends, obviously, or just click on the name, add to list, and finish. And if I made a status uh, like I hate Facebook. Obviously, I don't if I'm using it, uh, and I want to show it to this family. I can do that, or if I, sorry, if I want to hide it from family, I type it there and push save changes, and everyone except for my family would see that status. So that's how you create lists. Another thing, which is something I utilize a lot nowadays, is the restricted list. Uh, you click on more, uh, click on restricted, and whoever you have in this list can only see public posts. So whenever I add a new friend um, over the past few months, um, they automatically go into the restricted list, and all they can see is whatever I make public until I know I can trust these new friends. And especially if I don't know them, they're already on the restricted list to begin with. Um, to add someone to this, you just type their name. Again, I'll type my own name. And it adds me to the restricted list. So I cannot see anything that just, Justin posts unless it is public. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's just go back to your profile and do a final look. And just like before, this is what the public sees. And if you want to see what an individual friend can see on your paid Facebook page, uh, just type in their name. And this friend can see all of that. Or if you type in my name, that is all I can see. Okay, uh, for photos, I know I forgot something. The cover photo is the only photo that you cannot change the privacy settings on. Let's say I wanted to hide this profile stock picture, obviously. I would click on edit, and actually. I will click on photos. Wait for it to pop up. And if you want your profile pictures to be hidden to only friends, you could do that. Or if you don't want anyone to see your profile pictures, just push only me. Um, and then let's just view your profile to see what it looks like. Uh, just that profile picture can be seen, but they can't actually click on it to see other profile pictures. And it's the same way with other photos. Let's go out into the internet and get a photo. Uh, let's just look up Barack Obama. And let's say I want to take this picture, download it. Add photo, upload photo video, choose file, uh, that was saved in downloads, and I can just say something about our president, click post, or if you want to change the privacy settings to only me, just push only me, and then it posts.
and that automatically goes into your wall photos um, album. So let's go back to our profile and click on photos. And you have a new album, wall photos. Uh, then you go to edit album. Uh, if you want to edit your pictures or anything, just do it there. You can make it your album cover, so on and so on. Delete it. In this photo album, you control the individual privacy settings on each photo. So if I wanted to change it to friends, I can change it to friends. If I want to make it public, I can make it public. Just push done editing to save. And that is about it. If you have any more questions on how to secure your Facebook profile, um, be sure to comment. Also, please rate and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and happy, safe Facebooking.